be sure to check out Big Boy Collectibles for all your G.I. Joe action figure needs. Whether it's vintage or new, Big Boy Collectibles has it. Check them out at BigBoyCollectibles.com. What's up everyone? ODC, it's me here, and I'm back with another action figure review. Today's review, we're going to take a look at the Marvel Legends X-Men Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave. This is Iceman, and this is, I believe, the updated version for Iceman. Uh, not my cup of tea. I'm going to just be honest with you guys here. Oh, I know. I'm pissing off the Marvel, Marvel Legends community, but guess what? Uh, this figure is really not that great. I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of people are, are clamoring over this guy. I, I just don't... Eh. I, I don't like how he's built. He's not built properly, and I'll get to that in a second, but he does have an accessory here. He does include a Build-A-Figure piece, which I'll get to that in a second, but um, uh, you can take this back portion off if you want to have him without it. He's on the Spider-Man, I believe it's the Superior Spider-Man body buck, and uh, I did, oh god, he is just built. I, I don't like the way this plastic is this gummy plastic um, all throughout his legs, all throughout his arms. I, I don't like the feel of this guy. It feels like a cheap piece of shit. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, he's real loose everywhere. Um, the only thing he's not loose in is his ab crunch, thank God. But his legs are real jiggly. I don't like it. It's too much movement for a new figure. His his ankles are real loose, and I don't know. He, he just doesn't feel right. It just, he feels cheap. Uh, I'm just being honest here. I'm not saying this for the sake of pissing people off. I'm not trolling anyone. This is just how I feel, genuinely. Um, I, I just don't like... The way he's built, I, I just uh, uh, no. Uh, I feel like he's, I feel like he's gonna melt. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, he's Ice Man. I feel like he's gonna melt. Um, he does. I'll be honest with you here. He does grip, um, and and what I mean by grip, he does. You know, like when you put um, a harder plastic figure down, and he kind of wobbles a little bit. This guy kind of sticks when you put him down, but. The problem with that is that he's so loose in his hips, um, and the gummy plastic mixing with hard plastic doesn't work right. So you're getting a lot of more movement in this figure, and he's kind of leaning. He starts to lean forward, and then the ankles start to give, and they start to move forward a little bit. And then he falls over all the time. So that's why you need a harder plastic. And I understand that there's breakage issues, this, that, and the other thing. But at the end of the day, you need a harder plastic for the figure to withstand time. It's just a fact. It is. It's a fact. Um, I do, although I do like the sculpt on him. I like what they did here. They added on some tooling on the fist, on the forearms, um, even on, on the open hand here. And he is a translucent plastic, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Uh, it does have a little bit of paint shading going throughout. It's almost like a silver paint going throughout the body. Um, I like what they did with the sculpting on the legs. But at the end of the day, the figure is just really kind of piss poor quality wise. Uh, here's the face sculpt. And the eyes do are, are, are whited out. So there's that. It might be a little bit too bright here. There we go. But... I don't know. I, I just... I don't know whether it's he's got too much articulation and too much gummy, rubbery type plastic because, I mean... Ugh. I just don't like this. I don't like the way he, he's built. I just don't like it at all. So, th for me, this is a passable figure. I bought the entire wave so I couldn't pass on it, but... Um, this is a passable figure for me, and uh, I would not recommend you get it. Uh, unless you're an extreme Iron uh, Ice Man, I almost said Iron Man, uh, extreme Ice Man fan. Um, sorry if I don't agree with you know everything is awesome. I don't agree with it, and uh, I don't agree with it being a great figure. Sorry, I'm just 
going to tell the truth. And I would pass on it. Uh, nothing really else left to say. Um, yeah, he does include a Build-A-Figure piece, I believe. I think he does. Let me double check here. Yes, he does. I believe it's an arm. I'm not sure which one. Let's say the left arm. Left arm of Juggernaut. Um, but that's pretty much it for me. Like I said, don't get them. Pass on it unless you need the Build-A-Figure piece. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you guys on the flip side.